What if I tell you that I can turn this into a stunning design like this and in just a few minutes. So now select the container, right click on it and duplicate it so that we can have three columns like this. In the background, select the background type as classic and from here, I'll choose an image like this. To make cards, I'll add one more container inside the existing container. Next, I'll go to layout and set the height to 400. I'll also align the items to center from here. I'll add some background color. And here, select the classic. And from the color palette, I'll choose a transparent shade like this. Now let's add some border. So scroll down a bit and click on border. Choose the type as solid. Next, set the border radius to this and set the color to this. Cool, I'll now start adding elements to these cards. First, I'll add a heading. Next, I'll add a text editor widget right below the heading like this. To add a button, drag the widget from the left and drop it here below the text editor. Now let's start editing the elements. Now comes the main part. To add the frosted glass effect, we need to copy paste a small CSS code. This is a website that allows you to generate your own CSS code according to your needs. From here, adjust the blur value like this. Hmm. Let's do the same for opacity level and saturation level. And you can see the changes in this window. As we have already set a background image and border color, so I'll select only these two lines of code like this. Come back to Elementor, select the inner container, then in advance, go to custom CSS and add your code in this box. Let's just right click on this card and duplicate this two more times like this. And yeah, it looks decent. To learn more, click on the link below to check out the full video.